the Champions League. The competition where the biggest clubs come to play to see who's the best team in Europe. I can't remember the last time I was this excited for the round of 16 because there are so many great matches to look forward to. I know that we're still a few weeks away from the Champions League returning, but I thought that it would be fun to recap the tournament so far and stick around until the end of the video to see my predictions for the winners of the round of 16. And I just want to take a moment and invite you to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on our future videos. We post every single week on football related topics and you can follow me on Twitter at VCFootball3 to stay in the know on channel related polls and news. Don't forget to smash the like button, share this with a football lover you know, and now, back to the show. Just a reminder for everyone, the teams still left in the competition are shown here as well as who they will be facing in the next round. Now let's go through each match one by one and discuss who I believe will come out on top and why. Keep in mind though, this is largely opinion based. I will have a few stats to back up my claims, but I just think this will be fun so that we can revisit this later and see how well I did. Also, I will be going in chronological order based on the first leg, but I will be providing the date for the return leg as well. Let's get into it. The Champions League will return with the round of 16 on February the 18th and will be kickstarted by Atletico Madrid taking on Liverpool. And let me just say, what a game and I cannot wait for this one. Liverpool have definitely looked great this season as they are top of the Premier League and dismantled Leicester City who is in second place after a 0-4 match away from home. Atletico on the other hand has struggled offensively, even after purchasing Joao Felix, they still haven't been able to find the back of the net the way they were hoping for I'm sure. But Atletico is always a tough team to face because of how organized they are and because of their defensive capabilities. In the end though, I will have to go with the current champ, Liverpool, to go on to the quarterfinals. The other match that's going to be played on February the 18th is Borussia Dortmund hosting PSG. Also a great game, but ultimately I am favoring PSG for this one just based off of having higher quality players, the likes of Mbappe, Neymar, and in the back they have Keylor Navas who is always a beast. And they will have the advantage in the second leg because they will be playing at home. Borussia Dortmund has been playing some great football and are doing very well offensively, but it's defensively where they have been struggling. Out of the top five teams in the Bundesliga, they are the ones who have conceded the most. As of the time of this recording, Borussia Dortmund has conceded 24 times in 17 games. So just based off of this, I gotta go with PSG advancing to the quarterfinals. Moving on now to February the 19th where Atalanta will be hosting Valencia. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one, this one is a no brainer for me. Valencia progresses based only on their experience if nothing else. This is going to be Atalanta's first time ever in the round of 16 so I just don't see them getting past the Spanish powerhouse. Valencia to progress through to the quarterfinals. The other match to be played on February the 19th is going to be Tottenham, who will be hosting RB Leipzig. Now, Tottenham are clearly the bigger team here, but they have been very inconsistent this year, and they have gone through a manager change with Jose Mourinho coming in after Pochettino was sacked. On the other hand, Leipzig is fairly new to the Champions League, with this time being their second time ever in their history, but the first time around was back in the 2017-18 season, where they didn't even get through the group stage. But now, 2019-2020, they've made it further than they have on their second time around, showing improvement. This coupled with the fact that they are actually the leader in the Bundesliga above both Bayern and Borussia Dortmund, I'm going to have to go with RB Leipzig to be the wild card to progress through to the quarterfinals. Moving on now to February the 25th where Chelsea will be hosting Bayern Munich. And right off the top, I was immediately like, Bayern has this. And the reason for this is mostly because Chelsea has also gone through a manager change recently and are now under Lampard. Now, I did love Lampard as a player, but I feel like he just jumped into the deep end, into the coach realm, way too soon. And on top of that, Bayern just has higher level quality players the likes of Coutinho, and they have the beast Lewandowski, who is on an absolute tear at the moment. And in case y'all didn't know, he's actually the top goal scorer in the Champions League right now with 10 goals. 
So that never hurts your chances. So for me, easily, Bayern progresses through to the quarterfinals. And now moving on to the next match that will be played on February the 25th, and that will be Napoli, who will be hosting Barcelona. Not going to waste any time here. Barcelona progresses through. Don't even try to argue with me. If you have an argument for Napoli making it through, leave a comment below because I just, I don't know. I, I don't see it. Barcelona makes it through to the quarterfinals, no problem. On February the 26th, Olympique Lyonnais will be hosting Juventus. And this one too, I automatically wanted to say that Juventus is going to be the one that's going to make it through. I really don't know much about Olympique Lyonnais to be fair, but I do know that Juventus has some star-studded players, including the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo. Any team with Cristiano Ronaldo automatically becomes a favorite in the Champions League, so for this reason, Juventus will make it through to the quarterfinals. That is my prediction. And last but not least, the last game that will also be played on February the 26th is Real Madrid hosting Manchester City. Oh, what a game. This is the one that I honestly cannot wait for because we got some big European clubs going head to head so early in the competition. Now I did want to look through the stats for this one and I found that Manchester City is actually not having a great season. Now I do want to point out that they have been scoring goals for fun though, having scored more goals than both Leicester City and Liverpool despite being third in the Premier League. Not to mention they will have the advantage in the second leg. So a lot going for Manchester City, but despite Real Madrid having a slow start to the season, I feel like Zidane is finding the rhythm and the player's form right on time just like he always does. Real Madrid does have a crazy schedule that they have been playing since December and going into January, so it will be interesting to see if they have that winning mindset by late February. It's just going to depend on the results that they've gotten. Man, this one's a really tough one to call. But ultimately, I think I have to go with Real Madrid just because they have done so well in this competition in the past. The Champions League is practically synonymous with Real Madrid at this point. For this reason, I believe that Real Madrid will get through to the quarterfinals, although it's going to be very close. So here are the teams that I have making it through to the quarterfinals. Do you agree with my picks? Let me know in the comments below, and if not, who do you have making it through to the quarterfinals? It's going to be a great year, everyone, and I'm looking forward to reliving matches and discussing all the highlights as we always do. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.